my my love beautiful souls it's mystic rose 11 11 i'm back with the true bring a dark into light you guys i'm away at this time i'm on vacation for a little it's not even a vacation you guys i'm away i had to step away for a funeral um my husband's grandma passed away and so right now i'm in a hotel he's still with the family i had to step back and take a break and cherish the sleeping so you guys get to see my face and also get to see me so i did bring my card so if I needed to do some readings, I was able to do readings. So we're going to kind of see what needs to, you needs to know, okay? Holy Spirit, angels, incense, the highest white light, and the most high. Please give me correct and accurate reading for the collective. Karmic sociopath. Something could be dealing with this karmic sociopath. Wow. Okay, what does the collective need to know? What's going on here? I just put this out. Losing control. There's a sociopath that's losing control. They're losing control. They have no more control over you. Somebody has no more control over you. Okay, so I'm hearing some. There's nobody that somebody does not have control. The sociopath does not have control over you anymore. Okay, they really, really thought they were gonna be able to control you for the rest of their life. Somebody thought they could control you for the rest of life. They have no more control over you. You broke free. Somebody who put, call, plays in riddles, talks in riddles. They thought they were going to be able to play you for the rest of their life, okay? They thought they were going to be able to get away with it. They thought you were going to be gullible. They thought you were going to be... I'm hearing somebody thought you were a little bit brain dead, okay? Like, that you didn't know something, okay? That you you couldn't see through their bullshit. You couldn't see through their lies. You couldn't see through their their um their mask, okay? I can't even shuffle right because of them. Could be a discord, distor distorted masculine, misleading. Okay, what's going on here? Sociopath losing control. This came out a couple couple days ago. I wanted to come out. There's a distorted masculine, misleading, okay? Could have misled you. This sociopath, masculine, was misleading you. Okay, they no longer can mislead you. You see through their bullshit. You see through their mask. You see through their lies. You see through their scheming. You see through everything. You see through them playing these little riddles, these little mind games. There was a there was a sociopath that I'm hearing mind fucked you. You could have been mind fucked. I, you guys, I'm not judging. I'm not putting anyone down. I was mind fucked. I was bullied. I was gang stalked. I was manipulated. I was brainwashed. Okay. I was, I was too. I broke free from it. Broke free from this illusion. And that's what I'm hearing is you broke free from this illusion. You broke free from this mind game. This mind fuck. This fuckery shit. Somebody could be a bodyguard, security guard. Okay. You could be a bodyguard, security guard. Or somebody that wears um, a uniform. A CEO. A CEO is somebody that um, works in a prison or a jail. But also when I'm hearing this too. Somebody could like work. like They have security guards at like hospitals and stuff like that. Some hotels. Public places. I mean like even like at Mall of America. They have security guards at like the malls. They even have security guards at schools. Okay. Time's up. Running out of time. What else, Bear? This could have been somebody you were married to. Made a commitment to. Somebody could have been married. And didn't tell you. So maybe had another relationship, another life without you knowing, and like you finally caught them. I mean, it's something about being caught. This sociopath is caught, okay? Somebody's gonna come forward to their partner too, like another partner. This sociopath, somebody could have been on WeChat. WeChat is part of a, like a money laundering scheme, like through the Chinese. Um, it's where um, Chinese money laundering, it's encrypted, okay? The DEA can't even um, wiretap this. And something's gonna be found on social media. And this sociopath, this person, um, could be, this masculine could have been involved with counterfeit money. This came out, um, yesterday as well. 
in a reading. It's counterfeit money. I'm hearing Ponzi scams or scamming people. They try to scam you, you caught on to it. There's a sociopath that misled you and wanted a marriage with you. Marry you for the money. Okay, this sociopath, so, sociopath could have married you for the money or wanted you married for the money. They misled you, okay? They misled. They're trying to get something from you. You may be catching on that this person's married or was in another relationship on social media. I said they're scheming. You've been stepping up your game. You caught on to the tricks. One more. Somebody doesn't like you. They don't like you. Or you don't like them now. Felony charges. Or had a felony. you're psychic you step wow you stepped in your gifts okay you stepped in your abilities okay you access them you awoken your psychic abilities so now they can't you 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 see through people you see through people's bullshit their manipulation their mind tricks okay you see through that could be pisces someone could be pisces you discovered it okay you discovered something that was hidden that they're around evil money theft I said Ponzi scams you found out their secrets You have a karmic friend coming against you. Okay, that that's the person that may not not like you. This karmic friend. They could have been coming against you. This karmic friend could have been a sociopath. It might not even been somebody that was in a relationship. This this karmic friend could have actually been a sociopath in a relationship or been in a marriage as well. Okay? Manipulating situations. Somebody went down the wrong way. They caused you to go down the wrong path, wrong direction. And I'm hearing Spirit had to intervene, okay? Spirit had to get you back on track. Bring you on the right path. Because somebody, you could have been going on the wrong path. And so Spirit had to wake you up. Spirit had to, like, show you something about this person. Literally show you something so you can get back on the right path. Because you went down the wrong path for a period of time. Somebody could be stealing from work, hours, energy, money. This sociopath came around for money. This karmic friend. Always coming around begging for money. Could be attacking your children and family. There's some kind of agreement you had with this person. Some kind of contract. Even if it wasn't a written contract, it could have been a spiritual contract. That you had to complete. That you had to you had to you had to you had to go through something. You had to see something. You had to experience something. To see who this person was. To see that this person is a sociopath. I'm here to understand sociopaths as well. Somebody might be a psychiatrist or psychologist or somebody that works in the mental health field that had actually understands sociopaths or see through sociopaths, see their mask, okay? Um, break down their mask or rip their mask off. The South or Southern Hindu. You're a warrior on the go, strength, power. Deal gone wrong. <laughs> this karmic friend, there, something went wrong. Okay, they made a deal with the devil. They made a deal that went went bad. Okay, there's a deal that went bad with this karmic. This karmic friend. You guys want to see something so cute? I'll show you something.
I show you guys that. She's in her clothes. She actually has been playing since 9 o'clock this morning with her cousins, you guys. Okay? She's been playing with them, her cousins. And, like, she wanted to stay there longer. And I'm like, I have to go. I, I had to go. Because the drinking and, like, they were just drinking some beer and some drinks and stuff. But, like, it was, like, five people to, like, 50 people. Okay, you guys? I, I don't go around a lot of people anymore. I don't go around a lot of people. And they're all kind, loving, generous, and everything. And, like, the funeral was humongous, okay? There was a lot of people at the church, everything. And, like, for me, like, going from being around a lot of people to being around one, two, three, maybe four people. Like, that's it to a lot of people. And then, like, I can be around somebody that drinks. But it was, like, more people came in. More, 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 more people come in and drink it. And I'm like, I need to go. I had to go. And, like, she didn't want to go. And Mike's like, oh, let her stay. Let her play. And I'm like... She needs to sleep. And I'm like, and I really don't want to go back there. So I'm just going to take her back to the hotel. And I didn't want to get her jammy because she was just like sleeping. So cute, you guys. So cute. So adorable. I love when she sleeps. Sorry. Um, sorry, that was off track. But I figured that would be something cute. So. With all the darkness, you'll never know the light. See, there was a reason why. Okay, there was a reason why you had to have this contract with this person, with this individual. Okay, this lease, people think like it's like, you know, apartment, a car, whatever. This lease could have just been like a contract with a, a sociopath, with an ex-friend, okay, a karmic friend. So you can see something. Because right here it says, without the darkness, you never know the light. So whatever you experienced, whatever you went through, it was to help you find the light. Okay, it was to help you to experience the darkness so you could know the true, true divine light. There's a book. I don't have it with me. It's at home. Um, one of my soul sisters, um, recommended me get this book. I got the book. It's a wonderful book. Love it. It's talking about knowing the, knowing the darkness to the light, knowing the true light. And that's what I'm hearing is you had to go through something so you can know the true light. Okay. I sit in older, you guys also, if you guys are like, wow, she's in the hotel. They have a really, really nice hotel here. Had money. I had it for it. But Spirit guided me to go to the small hotel here in this town because it's a small business, you guys. And I support small business owners. I'm a small business owner. And so, like, I came to a, a cheaper hotel because I wanted to help the small business instead of going to the place that was another 60 bucks that just got put up. And, yeah, it's 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 actually the same stars, but it has everything new. But less people here. There's only, like, one other person here. Everyone else is at the cobblestone for this funeral. So, yeah. So that could be something, too, going on supporting the small businesses. You guys stop um, supporting these big businesses. And, like, a lot of trafficking, ha well, a lot of trafficking happens in hotels. So, I don't know why that came up, but. I had a spiritual burp. You know, this person could have been robbing you. Okay? Robbery, thief, um. Berkeley, they could have robbed something from you, this karmic friend, okay? They could have took from you, stole from you, okay? They thought they'd get away with it, okay? This could be also your energy as well, okay? Your time. Energy and time is different, okay? Energy is where you feel drained after being around someone, like energy vampire, psycho vampire. And time is where you you put your life on hold to help someone, okay? I'll give you an example. My ex-friend, I dropped everything when I was pregnant for her. Every single thing. Before pregnant, after pregnancy, like, I dropped everything for her, Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten months pregnant to go help her out for her career, for her life, for her child. I helped her out and I wore myself out. She stole my time from me, stole my energy from me. Um, it was partially my fault because I allowed it, you guys. It was partially my fault because I allowed it because I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. While well, she was sitting back smoking some dope and doing her music career. And she probably watches this channel. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm just giving you an example of what I went through my experience is literally I'm pregnant with Cherish and I am doing things for her while she's smoking dope and getting her music career on the line because I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to help her. And she was actually stealing my time and my energy from me because of the fact that like she should have actually been the one that was actually supporting me and helping me, assisting me. But I allowed it. I let it go on that far. Um... Another thing I'm going to put this on, there's somebody on my channel that come out, commented and asked me how um, I have a three-year-old and my husband was locked for five years. 
my husband was locked up, got locked up in 2018. He got out in 2020 for five months. And then he got, he got out for five months. I got pregnant. He got locked up and went back to prison because he fucked up on boot camp. He's on hold for five months, but he was still on ISR. He was on house arrest. And so that's how that situation happened. So, and honestly, I don't have to give my ex uh, explanation to that at all. But if you want to question that, there you go. I've been with him since 2017. So, he got he got locked up 2018, got out in 2020, was out five months, fucked up, went back. So, karma's a bitch. That's how. And that's all I'm going to say. You want to keep commenting on my shit, keep commenting on my shit, saying other things. I don't know you. I don't don't know you at all. So, I'm not doing anything against you, so. And really, it's not your business how or questioning it, but that's the answer. He got out five months. Was on IS. If you don't know what ISR, it's, it's, um, it's intensive release care where you're not supposed to be screwing up. You're actually supposed to get UAs every day, but what happened, COVID happened, and they couldn't give him a fucking UA, so he ended up relaxing while he was on house arrest because they could not come in the home to give a UA. A friend came over, gave him some freaking dope. He got high. Finally, they were opening up where they can give him uh, UAs again. He decided he didn't want to give that UA. He cut his ankle bracelet and ran. So then he got locked back for his remaining time. He's still not actually off. He's still on parole for another two years. He got eight years and he had to actually sit behind bars. Exactly. He had to sit behind bars almost six years, five and a half years. So he has another two and a half. But that's not, like I said, that's his situation. More tell his story. You're beautiful as Empress. Somebody could have ran away from the situation. Soulmate friendship. Somebody went through a dark night of soul. And that's another thing. Without, without the darkness, you know the lights. Somebody went through a dark night of soul. You're glowing all over. And shining bright. Beauty has always been inside of you. And somebody could be an AI, AI, AI robot. So you could have been having somebody that was like messing around with like AI stuff. Robot stuff. Manipulating you. And Brian is here. I don't know. That's on the bottom of the deck. There's spirits in this room. Gossiping. Jealous envy. You can have receipts on this person. Okay, you can have receipts on this person. Social media, fake people, profiling, hiding. This is access granted, but I don't understand that. Like, somebody, like, got into something, okay? They were, like, they, you, okay, I get it. Somebody allowed somebody in their life, okay? You allowed this person into your life, okay? You love this person in your life, and when you love this person in your life, they decide to manipulate you. You open the key, you open the door for this person to, you know, manipulate and do the things that you did. But I'm hearing you close the door now too. But something about social media. Because look at others involved, intervention, rescue mission, others involved. They could have had a third party. This could also have been divine intervention. Like I said, I, divine intervention, um, divine, um, stepped in and said, hey, no, you need to see something. This person does not like you. This person is manipulating. You could have a vision. Like I did. I had a vision. I woke up from surgery and I right there. Confirmation. If I showed you guys the emails and the situation, if I showed you the evidence I had, like something about receipts, if I showed you guys the evidence I had. If I, I could tell you about my story, my situation, and you guys may not want to believe it. You may be like, wow. If I uploaded all my emails and my messages from Facebook and my emails, you'd be like, wow. 
she was telling the truth. This shit is like real. This stuff really happened. I have the evidence. I actually sent it to my soul sister, sent the messages to my soul sister up with the situation I went through. Um, I was manipulated. I was by a sociopath. She was, she was straight sociopath. The girl was sociopath. I've actually uploaded them a long time ago when I first opened my YouTube, uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook. I actually uploaded some of them. There's over 100 pages, you guys. Ascension. Somebody went through a spiritual awakening. You went through awakening. Okay. This also a spiritual path, but this is where spirit probably woke you up and showed you a vision, showed you something to walk away. Let's get one more. This person was toxic, poisonous, unhealthy behavior, or unhealthy behaviors, people, toxic. Temptation. You were protected by Archangel Michael the whole time. Protection prevented from har divine intervent from harm, divine intervention. I just said that. This person caused a lot of harm. You guys, and to be honest, like I was talking about gullible, I was gullible at one point in my life. Like I literally was so mind fucked, so manipulated that. To be honest, I don't even know, like, I don't understand how I believe the shit out of her mouth or out of these emails, like, literally. But I was recovering from drugs. I was recovering from my husband going to prison. I was recovering from losing everything. I was just going, I was in a really, really tough spot. I was in a identity crisis. I was going through awakening. I was just going through so much stuff that I was so vulnerable and easily manipulated during that time. I saw, I, I woke up, somebody's going through what I went through, that's why, okay, that's what I'm hearing, somebody, what I went through, what I experienced, somebody went, is going through that, or you went through that in the past, okay, or you could currently be going through that, let's close this out, Rose gold cosmic pool. Bathe in cosmic love. Soak up with, soak up wisdom. Okay, wisdom. That could be why I'm telling this story. That could be why I'm on here. You know, giving you guys my 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 testimony. My situation is because um it's it's a lot of wisdom. You you can learn from that. If I would have the situation I went through, if I found somebody on YouTube that went through my situation and was telling their story, that would have helped me out so much, so much. I, I watch spiritual channels, I watch tarot, I watch all this stuff, but people weren't talking about their life experience, about being gaslighted, gang stalked, and about being manipulated, bullied by their ex-friend or ex-lover. Um, I actually had a experience that go through it myself and then, like, start talking about it myself. I watched tarot, and tarot was just about, when I first started watching tarot, it was about, like, whatever it was, it wasn't... The tarot readers I was watching was not talking about their experiences, their life experiences. The spiritual people that I was talking about was, they told spiritual stories, but never to the point of what I went through with this individual. What I went through with this individual was not like anybody else. Incension flames merge with light in, in ignite key codes. Ignite key codes. Okay, I love you guys. Absolutely love you guys. I hope this helps. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.